do do i really really want to start the vlog looking like this and feeling like this do i i guess we are hello hello it is christmas week actually i can't even really hear myself speaking with these on it is the week of christmas christmas is this sunday it is currently the 21st so it's wednesday and i don't know what this video is going to be i don't know what this vlog is going to be i kind of wanted to start vlogging on monday and like get back into kind of weekly vlogging i say get back into i actually can't remember the last time i did it like consistently since maybe the summer but yeah i i don't know if you guys can tell but i am very very ill right now i really don't want to say this because it's just disgusting but i have got covid it's finally caught me after two years of never having it as far as i know yeah i finally got it and it really really does suck like it is so aggressive like before taking a test on monday i genuinely just thought it was like the flu because that's exactly how it feels like my whole body's aching especially my back my back is like really really sore and tender obviously like as you can tell i'm a bit like stuffy so yeah i'm just not feeling good and i've been feeling like this since friday yeah i pretty much just been resting and i did really want to film like i've been in such a mood to like film after filming my last video i kind of just want to get back into like filming in like a positive way and getting excited for youtube and just filming like whatever i want to yeah i feel like i've kind of got like a new lease of life creatively wow i am so dry i should have put some lip balm on before filming this anyway i just thought i'd start off this vlog here because today i'm not feeling good like i'm quite breathless actually but i'm feeling less disgusting than i have for the last like two days so you know what i'm just gonna start videoing no pressure whatsoever i might not video for the rest of today we will see but i've just been reading i've been doing a bit of reading over the last week um while i've been ill it's just like a little bit here and there not as much as i've like necessarily wanted to considering i've just been at home and not working and i'm kind of like reading multiple books right now which i'm really really enjoying i actually haven't done this for a while where i've actually picked up like multiple books and read them at the same time which is so fun because I'm just picking up whichever book strikes me. Yeah, right now I'm reading Letters to a Young Poet by Raina Maria Rilke. And I read the first letter and a bit of the introduction. I kind of skipped most of the introduction because I kind of just wanted to get to the letters. Like, I appreciate the context, but it honestly wasn't, like, giving that much. I just really wanted to get to, like, Rilke's actual writing. So I might go back and read the introduction, but I genuinely, from reading the first letter, don't feel like you need like that amount of context i'm not gonna go into too much detail about like my thoughts and stuff but rilke is such a pure soul everything that he's written in this letter just comes straight from his heart and i've just never i've never actually read anything like it so just to give you guys a little bit of context if you didn't know i think rilke is an austrian poet these letters i think were written in the 1920s between rilke and somebody he didn't actually know so i originally thought that it was between rilke and a friend but actually the man or the boy that he's writing these letters to is franz Zaver kappas kappas is studying at this military academy that rilke used to study at and he was reading some of rilke's poetry and i think one of the professors there i don't know if they're a professor i don't really know what this academy is he used to teach rilke so the young poet is actually kappas and he decides to write to Rilke and send him some of his poetry that he's been working on and kind of ask for advice a little bit. Rilke actually wrote back and then I think they write back and forth for a number of years. Um, I think there are 10 letters in total from Rilke and that's what I'm reading right now. So that's why it's called Letters to a Young Poet is because Rilke is writing to a younger man who wants to kind of embark upon this journey himself and become a poet and it's just honestly so wonderful the advice that he gives him he starts by saying things are not all as graspable and sayable as on the whole we are led to believe most events are unsayable occur in a space that no word has ever penetrated and most unsayable of all are works of art mysterious existences whose life endures alongside ours which passes away now i'm not a literature student but i just feel like rilke is kind of saying that we can't speak on every single piece of art so he's not going to like i don't think go into the details of what he thinks of this man's poetry but he kind of gives more general advice and that advice ends up being really really beautiful and heartfelt and 
a lot of it is kind of recommending that he should tap into like his roots and like who he is at his core and really ask himself whether he needs to write and whether he must write and if he must write then that means that he's a poet and he'll find his way <coughs> That's enough speaking from me. <laughs> okay, my um my lungs and my throat don't want me to speak anymore. But yeah, all I'm gonna say is is that this is so fantastic so far. Bella from Throne of Pages actually recommended this on her channel for like getting into classics, I think. And the way she discussed this book just made me instantly want to get it. So when I saw it at my bookshop, I picked it up. And then yesterday I was watching Brett's 27 books for 27 video which I'll link down below because it was a really great video and she actually discussed this as one of the books that's impacted her life. I picked this up a couple of weeks ago and now I've just watched another video where somebody's been gushing about it so I just have to read it so I decided that I would dedicate today to reading at least some of this but yeah as it is so so short like barely any of this is actually the letters. I think it's like maybe 60 or so pages of the actual letters I feel like I could read it all today, um, but we'll see. I don't really want to obviously put that pressure on myself, especially if I'm feeling not very well. But yeah, also I've got these headphones on specifically because I don't know if you could hear throughout those clips, but there is a tree surgeon in like next door's garden. It's been going on for two days straight and I'm just over it and I don't really want all that soaring noise. So I've got a study music playlist for three hours going on, Pomodoro style, and it's got lo-fi music on and I'm just living... I guess I'm just living, yeah. <laughs> and I'm just having such a peaceful day. I think this is the first day that I've actually like felt happier since being ill. Honestly, the biggest thing that I'm upset about is obviously it's Christmas week, I've got COVID. I am supposed to be going to spend Christmas at my parents' house with my 90 year old grandfather and also with my cousins who are coming over from Sweden who I haven't seen in years and also my sister's boyfriend who is coming over from Europe as well so I don't actually know if I'm going to be able to spend Christmas with my family or with anybody. But yeah I just feel like I don't want to get my hopes up because I feel like potentially I could become negative by the end of the week and if I'm negative for two or three days in a row then it should be safe for me to actually go there especially because I think I've had COVID since Friday so I want to believe that I won't be contagious by the time Christmas comes around but also I really want to be safe and I don't want to put anybody in a position especially my grandpa where they could get ill and yeah I really would not want to be the cause of that if I think about it too long I'll just get really really upset because I've never not spent a Christmas with my family and there were already so many things conspiring against me going to theirs for Christmas. There's been some rail strikes here in the UK and it has affected my line over Christmas. So it means that I won't actually be able to travel down there even if I wasn't ill. Before I got ill actually, it was incredibly sweet. My mum and Jamshed, they basically agreed that Jamshed would drive me half of the way and then my mum would drive to pick me up half of the way. and. My parents live quite far away from where we do, so it was just incredibly kind and generous of them to offer to do that for me. But now the fact that I've gotten ill means that might not be happening anyway. So yeah, it really, really sucks. And honestly, I just want to say if any of you watching are alone this Christmas and are sad about it, then I completely sympathise with how you're feeling because it honestly sucks so much just the thought of like being alone at Christmas and I've never thought that I was the sort of person that puts like so much importance on like holidays like this because I generally don't I was gonna say I don't care but like I definitely care like Christmas is definitely not my favorite holiday like I'm more of a, like a Halloween kind of girl but yeah in general I kind of like don't make a big hoo-ha about Christmas but now kind of being faced with the possibility of not being able to be with my family at Christmas for the first time in my life it's kind of like freaking me out and yeah I'm kind of just like hoping for the best preparing for the worst at this point so yeah <laughs> I guess as a conclusion to this intro I don't know what this vlog will be because it could be I mean we're only four days till Christmas now so it could literally be the beginning of a Christmas vlog if I get to see my parents. It could be the few days running up to Christmas and I'll do a separate Christmas vlog. Or if we're being really pessimistic, this could be a spending Christmas alone because I have COVID vlog and I'll just hang out with you guys. So yeah, I guess you guys might already know from the title of this video what this is going to be. So I guess you all know kind of before like me in this current moment does. Yeah, wow. 
I feel like I'm kind of wrapping my head around all of this. Doesn't get COVID in the whole of the two years and then gets it like a few days before Christmas. I think I'm gonna get back to reading. I'm gonna stop thinking. I might read for a little bit and then I think I'm gonna paint my nails actually because I haven't done that in a long time. And I got this really, really gorgeous green color. So yeah, I guess that's my plan for today, reading and painting my nails. What an exciting life I lead. Yeah, I'll catch you later. Hello guys, it's the next day and I just wanted to take advantage of the fact that I've got this filming set up to update you guys. So I am still super sick. I'm actually feeling like kind of worse today and I don't know why I'm not covering up, but I just filmed a video for Patreon. I've just filmed a really exciting video actually. Um, So my Patreon tiers are gonna be updated and I'm gonna change moving forward in January. So I just filmed that video kind of explaining all of the changes to my current patrons. If you guys want to check out my Patreon, I'll link it down below. But yeah, we will be changing the tiers up a little bit starting in January. So I will be probably posting about it on Instagram. I'm going to put my new slippers on. Jamshed got me these cute Toshiro slippers as an early Christmas present. They are hilarious. They're like super thick. But yeah, I love Toshiro, so... <laughs> They look so funny on camera. I'm gonna pop them on so you know that these are on my feet while I'm talking to you. So, <laughs> I took another COVID test today. It is Thursday. The last time I took a COVID test was Monday because I was trying to conserve them and I thought there was no point taking another test until later in the week because it won't matter anyway. I'm not supposed to be due back to work until tomorrow. It's positive again. I've still got COVID. Don't, I will let you cry. Christmas is not looking good. I'm really, really trying not to think about it right now. I'm trying not to talk about it in every single clip of this vlog. So yeah, I'm not gonna talk about it anymore, but yeah, I do still have COVID. But on a good note, Jamshed and I started watching Emily in Paris from season one. I already watched the whole of season one when it came out and I didn't watch season two. So I started watching that yesterday and then Jamshed saw me watching it and was like, she slept with who? He noticed the drama and me and Jab said like we love watching drama filled shows like just light hearted drama filled shows are like our favourite to watch together. I know that this show is like really heavily criticised um, especially season one so I was super sceptical when I watched it back then but honestly it's just so much fun and I don't even care if it's like realistic or not like I know it's not realistic. I really need to stop speaking but before I go I'm just going to show you guys these two books that arrived for me today. Literally finding out that I had COVID and then these two packages turning up, like these Christmas presents, 
made my day like i was really really sad and then this really really cheered me up so the first one is a t kingfisher book what moves in the dead which is actually a fall of the house of usher retelling so an edgar Allan poe retelling i'm going to try and read that short story before i read this but this is also super short i did not realize that at all but that actually kind of makes me more excited to read it um and this came from lauren and the note was so so sweet so thank you so much lauren you did make my day and then I also received The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton from Catherine. Thank you, Catherine. The note also was so, so sweet. You're both so thoughtful for thinking of me this Christmas. But yeah, this is a book that so many people know about. It's so hyped up and it's been on my mental wish list for so long. But yeah, it's a murder mystery if you didn't know. And I think it's got an element of sci-fi to it because the same murder gets relived over and over again by the protagonist but in different characters' bodies. So, you know, I'm excited for this one. Like, it just sounds so fun. And I think my best friend read it very recently and she told me that I needed to read it. So I'm going to be reading this hopefully next year as well. Thank you guys so much for sending these two books for me. It truly did make my day after getting the bad news of still being positive. So yeah, thank you. I'm gonna treasure these forever and add them to my bookshelves now. So yeah, I think that's it for this update. I'm gonna go back downstairs now and join Jamshed on the couch. He's actually starting to feel ill himself, which is like a nightmare. Like I was really, really hoping for his sake that he didn't get COVID from me because when he got COVID earlier in the year, I didn't get it. So I was kind of just hoping that we had very different like immune systems. So yeah, I guess I'll update you guys on that situation. For now, I'm going to go downstairs. I do kind of want to do a bit of reading. Today, I've been listening to Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry for my December Patreon buddy read. Um, and I've been listening to the audiobook because I couldn't get the physical book because I'm ill. But the audiobook is really good. It's narrated by the author and he does a really, really good job at narrating the characters especially. So yeah, I think I might just continue listening to that. I might play Stardew Valley because I love playing games on my Switch while I'm listening to audiobooks and I feel like those two, the book and the game, have very similar vibes, just like cozy, like fantasy. Yeah, I think that's it for this update and I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> Thank you.
Good morning everybody. It's actually been a few days and I spent Christmas here with Jamshed. In the end I kept getting positive results even though I might not have been contagious. It just wasn't worth risking seeing my grandfather. Like it just wasn't really worth it to anybody for us to be there. I don't even know if I told you guys this but Jamshed actually got a positive Covid result on I think it was the 23rd was the time that we both took a test before deciding whether or not to go to my parents so I was absolutely distraught I was crying in the shower like I just was so unhappy and just not really it sounds so dramatic to me now but like I just didn't want to believe that I wasn't spending Christmas with my family for the first time in my life I don't know if you guys can tell like I don't look my best right now because I've literally just woken up I feel terrible I don't know if this is TMI but I literally just did throw up as well I've been feeling so so nauseous and no I'm not pregnant by the way I'm having like a lemon like a citrusy like ginger tea which is honestly hitting the spot right now but yeah on a lighter note me and Jamshed really really made Christmas like special for ourselves this year we had a bit of a nightmare on Christmas morning itself but on <laughs> Christmas Eve and the majority of Christmas day Jamshed just made Christmas so special for me like he did everything that my family would have done if I was with them which was so so sweet of him like he literally made me cry because of how sweet he was being and I don't cry happy tears like I cry a lot of sad tears but it's hard for me to cry like when I'm happy I didn't even cry when he proposed to me I feel like I'm gonna regret vlogging from this angle like this is actually terrible oh yes so the bed in the living room so the crisis on Christmas morning was that our bedroom developed a damp situation because of some leaking in the roof we should be able to go back into our bedroom but we decided on Christmas day to set up down here on the sofa bed and sleep down here which honestly has been so so fun and you guys probably saw clips of like how it looked at night with the lights on and we watched the whole of the three seasons of Emily in Paris over like the last week together which has been so fun we actually finished it yesterday obviously no spoilers but like that ending to season three like I need season four straight away all we found out is that it will probably be next December we want it out way sooner because like we are both hooked on the show now but yeah we made a pact to rewatch it together before the fourth season came out and then since then we've been watching a bunch of old Poirot movies David Suchet movies which has been really fun like to watch them all from the beginning like every single case I really thought they were full-length movies when I was younger but maybe that's just because I was a child and had no concept of time we've been really enjoying each other's company and Jamshed even said this is like one of his favourite Christmases even though it was just us two and to be honest with you because of how special he made it it's definitely going to be a Christmas that I remember now in kind of like a mixed way like both positive and negative but yeah I think altogether I'm just so glad that we've been able to make this time like actually really nice but yeah now it's actually the 28th of December so I'm actually back at work tomorrow I'm honestly a bit nervous for like human interaction again because I literally have not interacted with another human other than Jamshed and like Postman for days and days and days so yeah that will be fun so wish me luck I'm probably already back at work by the time you're watching this but <laughs> yes also the whole reason that I started vlogging just now is that a package arrived for me and I'm so excited about this book so I literally just received this book from Waterstones and it's Queen of Myth and Monsters by Scarlett St. Clair and it's the second book in the Adrian and Isolde series I am so excited I basically started the first book which is King of Battle and Blood all these books all these fantasy romance book series like have the exact same name so it's really confusing I read the first book also this is like um a vampire kind of like dark romance series and it's so much fun so I started reading the first one back in I want to say January February I bought it for myself as a Christmas present last year on Christmas Eve and I don't really know what happened because I was so enjoying it like I made a whole TikTok on like starting that book and really really getting into it and I knew back then that it's the sort of book that you could just binge read in a day I don't know what happened maybe I was like prioritizing other books at the time but I stopped reading it and I didn't pick it up again in months like I didn't pick it up until December I did end up reading that like all within a 24-hour readathon I was doing with my patrons which I didn't 
didn't film unfortunately but that was such a fun readathon and i was desperate to get my hands on the second one and this one luckily for me has just come out just before christmas so i pre-ordered it so it would arrive as soon as possible because obviously i wasn't able to go to the shops physically because of covid and i know that i'm probably not going to even be able to start this because i've got so many books that i need to read before the end of the year so yeah i'm probably not going to be able to start this until maybe next week but i definitely definitely i'm going to read this within like another weekly vlog so that you guys know all of my thoughts because i this is probably one of my most anticipated releases now but yeah the plan for today i've got a lot of like filming to do i want to wrap up some patreon vlog i want to film my top 10 books of the year video which i'm so excited about and i might actually listen to legends and lattes the audiobook while i'm getting ready because that is my patreon book of the month and i'm over halfway through it and i'm actually really really enjoying it this time around so i think i'm going to listen to that while i get ready but yeah first i'm gonna finish this tea I'm about to brush my hair and it is actually the new year so happy new year my mum is actually arriving in london any minute so i might actually get interrupted in this clip while i'm trying to say goodbye to you guys i'm definitely in higher spirits than i was throughout the majority of this video and also very very sorry about the like whirring like white noise it's our dehumidifier in our bedroom we have moved back into our bedroom officially a few days ago i think the second of january was the last day that we spent downstairs we just wanted to make sure that the room was fully dry but now we've got a good dehumidifier it's actually working um and it's all good in here and it feels dry and warm so yeah very very happy i did end up returning to work the day after i filmed the last clip going back to work for five days in a row doing like quite physical customer facing work wasn't very fun but i got through it and now i've got a few days off i meant to wrap up this vlog days and days ago but i've just been kind of relaxing and i've been kind of setting up my whole kind of new year thing um, that i like to do every year so setting up a new planner and I think my phone's gonna die very, very soon. I got a daily planner, but I'm gonna probably talk about that in the next week's vlog. I'm gonna start a new weekly vlog, probably today or tomorrow. So yeah, I'm really excited about that and that will be coming out next week, um, hopefully around the same day. But yeah, I'm gonna be hanging out with my mom. I'm so, so excited because I haven't seen her in over a month or maybe around a month but i'm just so excited to see her again so yeah that's why i had a shower and i'm brushing my hair i've been doing some cleaning and some editing of this vlog today as well i know that it was a very christmasy video but better late than never okay so that's me kind of ready for today we're not really doing much um we're just gonna hang out and we're gonna exchange christmas presents but yeah thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and if you made it this far thank you for sticking around i really hope that you guys are having the best day and the best new year's and yeah I'll catch you next time. Bye.